literally a hamburger. Item Number SCP-4585 Object Class Safe Special Containment Procedures SCP-4585 is to be stored within a soundproof containment cell at Site-50. Interaction with SCP-4585 requires Level 2 or higher security clearance. Description SCP-4585 physically is a standard hamburger made by the Steak and Shake Corporation. SCP-4585 is sapient and can speak in German via a voice of unknown origin. This voice has reached a maximum of 142 dB. SCP-4585 is also capable of using the five senses. Footnote Hearing Sight Taste Smell Touch And will not decompose. SCP-4585 can voluntarily cause SCP-4585-1 manifestation events, but is unable to cause a manifestation event if less than one month has elapsed since the last one. SCP-4585-1 manifestation events can number a maximum of 25 manifestations. Physically, SCP-4585-1 instances are smaller than SCP-4585, but otherwise identical. In addition to SCP-4585's anomalous properties, SCP-4585-1 instances also possess the ability to generate french fries. They utilize said french fries in a similar fashion to a throwing spear. SCP-4585-1 instances use telekinesis to throw these weapons, but have not shown this ability on other objects. The french fry will demanifest after it is thrown. In the event that the meat of an SCP-4585-1 instance is completely separated from the rest of the rest of the hamburger, all anomalous effects of that individual instance will cease. It is presumed that a similar effect takes place on SCP-4585 itself. Neither SCP-4585 or SCP-4585-1 instances are capable of locomotion. Addendum 4585-1 Interview Log 4585-1 Interviewed SCP-4585 Interviewer Junior Researcher Johnson Forward This interview was conducted 12 days following SCP-4585's discovery and containment. The interview has been translated into English. Begin Log Hello, SCP-4585. I would like to ask you some questions. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, Alex Johnson, can I ask some questions? If you insist, I will hear you. What would you like to know? Where did you come from? Were you created at the Steak and Shake where we found you? Oh, heavens no. I was born in my great city of Hamburg. Uh, is that the Hamburg in Germany? Of course! No other city can touch its beauty. I am fortunate enough to be the city's rightful duke. You must sense that you are in the presence of great royalty, my friend. Uh, of course you are. You originated in Germany. How did you end up in continent away? I as well. But you can't move. I am the Duke of Hamburg. Can... How does that affect anything? I don't follow. Uh, whatever. We can return to that a little later. Are your... Subjects... Also like you? As in... Our appearance? Yes, that is part of what makes Hamburg so great. After all, it's a lot easier to catch this world's criminals if they cannot move. That's not... Whatever. That's useful too, I guess. 
Is everyone in that place like you? Yes. Then how do you catch criminals? Actually, scratch that, how does the whole thing operate? I can assure you our justice system is very effective. I don't even get involved. Just in case I feel the urge to do injustice on my citizens. Isn't that great? Sure, but... How does the city operate? I mean, nobody can move. You wouldn't be able to do anything other than sit around. Excuse me, but are you threatening to incapacitate Hamburg, the greatest city of them all? No, how? I will not allow you to attack my subjects, Johnson. This meeting is over. I'm the one who started this interview. Silence! Johnson is seen covering his ears. Jesus fucking Christ. That was loud, you know. Hey, uh, you were right there. Yeah, it looks like we have the loudest thing in Site 50 over here. What about... I don't really care, this interview's over. Turn off that camera, please. In log. Closing statement. Following this interview, junior researcher Johnson advised against classifying SCP-4585's Hamburg as SCP-4585-2. Citing SCP-4585's inability to explain how the city would function. Further investigation into SCP-4585's origins is recommended. Interview Log 4585-2 Interviewed SCP-4585 Interviewer Junior Researcher Johnson Forward this interview is intended to further question SCP-4585 about its origins. Prior to this interview, SCP-4585-1 instances had not been discovered. The interview has been translated into English. Begin Log Junior Researcher Johnson is seen entering SCP-4585's containment cell. Hello, SCP- Junior Researcher Johnson notices an SCP-4585-1 instance in the room. This is Auric. He is a member of my personal guard. Say hello, Auric. Hi. He is here to protect me from hostiles such as yourself. No, oh, there's... more of you. Last time, I very clearly said that there were more people like me. Not that you were actually listening. Uh, okay, I guess. I need to check with my superiors. Junior Researcher Johnson leaves the room. Four minutes and 16 seconds pass before Johnson re-enters the room. Okay, so can you tell me more about this Hamburg you mentioned last time? I have told you all you need to know in our last encounter. Well... But could you give us a general layout of the city? We know of a city with the same ne Why would I do that? Well, you could bargain with us. Our organization has access to many- Are you suggesting a trade between our two nations? Um... Yeah, I could see it that way. Do you not remember our last meeting at all? Why would I trust you? Well, what do you want? What could we do to regain your trust? Hmm... I want, at the very least, all of Site 50 ceded to the Duchy of Hamburg. Meaning me, of course. <laughs> uh, no. Wait, how did you know the site number? Reconnaissance. Uh, anyway, if you aren't going to hand over Site 50, I will consider this trade a failure for the people of Hamburg. Uh, can you elaborate on this reconnaissance you just mentioned? No, we are talking about the trade, are we not? I'm just gonna... Oh, okay, this is starting to feel more like an interview than a meeting. Alright, please escort this man from the room. Yes, sir. How will you even do that? SCP-4585-1 manifests a french fry and throws it at Junior Researcher Johnson. 
It hits Johnson slightly above his nose. Um, is that a french fry? Alright, keep firing! SCP-4585-1 continues to manifest french fries and bombard Johnson. Okay, I'm just gonna take that thing out of here. Johnson grabs the SCP-4585-1 instance and takes it out of the room. Hey! Don't, don't worry, New York! We'll rescue you from these people! I'm coming! Johnson leaves the room with the SCP-4585-1 instance. Come back here! I'll kick your ass! Are you a coward? In log. Closing Statement SCP-4585 has been uncooperative in all follow-up interviews. Testing on the SCP-4585-1 instance was approved. For details on these tests, see document 4585-T1. Due to junior researcher Johnson's lack of professionalism and tendency to provoke SCP-4585, he has been reprimanded and transferred to another project. Addendum 4585-2 Security Log 836-8 Forward The following recording was taken from the Site-50 security camera number 836, located in SCP-4585's old cell. Begin Log 733-12 SCP-4585-1 manifestation event occurs. 22 SCP-4585-1 instances manifest inside the cell. 733-20 SCP-4585 begins vocalization with the SCP-4585-1 instances. 1355-56 Security guard John Trockies enters SCP-4585 cell on a routine sweep of Site-50 safe wing. SCP-4585 yells, ENGAGE! And all SCP-4585-1 instances open fire on Trockies. 13-5609 A french fry hits Trockies in the eye, causing him to retreat from the room. After some cheering, SCP-4585 and the Dash-1 instances begin to sing the song, Schwartz Brown is the Haselmus. Footnote, a military marching song that was commonly sung during World War I by German forces. 1406-49, the singing of Schwartz Brown is the Haselnuss stops. 1527-59, SCP-4585 and all SCP-4585-1 instances begin to chant Freiheit für Auric. Footnote. In English, Freedom for Auric. End log. Interview log 4585-3. Interviewed. SCP-4585. Interviewer. Senior Researcher Beck. Forward. This interview was conducted two days following the SCP-4585-1 manifestation event. See Security Log 836-8 in the attack of John Trockies. Questioning was directed at how to get SCP-4585 to stop attacking Foundation personnel. The interview has been translated into English. Begin Log Senior Researcher Beck enters the containment cell. Hello, SCP-4585? Open fire! SCP-4585-1 instances bombard Beck. Could you please stop that? SCP-4585-1 instances continue to bombard Beck. We could do this another time if now is inconvenient. SCP-4585-1 instances continue to bombard Beck. Well, could you tell- A french fry hits senior researcher Beck on his eye, causing him to blink rapidly and rub his eyelids. Oh, can you 
beast. The only one. I have found the weakness in the beast. Aim for the eyes. Yes, sir. Bombardment continues and focuses on Beck's eyes and mouth. Beck, this is going nowhere. Let's take this the right here. Agreed, these things are... Beck's eyes are hit by a CP-4585-1 bombardment, causing him to trip and fall forwards. One SCP-4585-1 instance is crushed by senior researcher Beck. Yes! Let's keep attacking, boys! Kill that thing! Beck gets up and leaves the containment cell. SCP-4585's research team decide to attempt an interview over the cell's intercom. Interview resumes after four minutes. SCP-4585, could you please answer some questions? Ah, it looks like you have to talk to me over this thing. At least have the dignity to talk to me to my face. Well, we can talk face to face. Just stop throwing french fries at my eyes and we can talk. You have hurt my subjects enough, thank you. Now go back to the hell you crawled out of! You just said that we should talk face to face. I agree, let's just... And what one? Open fire on the speakers! Yes, sir! SCP-4585-1 instances open fire on the cell's intercom speaker. Is this really necessary? All SCP-4585-1 instances begin to sing Schwartz Brown is the Hasselnuss. Damn, that's loud. Can you stop, please? For the purposes of... Diplomacy? All SCP-4585-1 instances continue to sing Schwartz Brown is the Hasselnuss and bombard the cell's intercom speaker. Let's try this again tomorrow. We'll give you some time to calm down. End log. Closing statement. The vocalizations of SCP-4585's Schwarzbraun Isti Hasselnuss was heard in 15 adjacent rooms, reaching an estimated 100 dB. Due to noise complaints, SCP-4585 was scheduled to be moved to a soundproof cell on 4-9-1971. Addendum 4585-3 Transport Log 4585.1 On 4-9-1971, a convoy of three guards moved SCP-4585 to a soundproof containment cell via several on-site cardboard boxes. The following recording was taken from security guard Harold Unerp's body-worn camera. Note that this only shows a portion of SCP-4585's transport. For a full log, see document 4585-TRP-1. English subtitles have been provided. Begin log. <coughs> Come on, can we get the wagon to move these things? It's being used right now. Besides, these aren't that heavy. Bumping noises are heard as numerous SCP-4585-1 instances open fire. Maybe for you, Uda. It would be a lot easier to move if you two stopped talking. Bumping noises are heard as numerous SCP-4585-1 instances open fire. <sighs> this thing is so annoying. That is one thing I can agree to. SCP-4585-1 manifestation event occurs. Nine SCP-4585-1 instances manifest in square formation. Footnote. Formation used in the medieval era, in which participants form a square in front of the transport convoy. One instance manifests above Agent Harrison's head. What? What the fuck was that? Hey, um, you got ketchup all over your face? I... 
Norris. You there! We have come for the Duke of Hamburg! You have one chance to hand him over or face the wrath of our mighty nation! What the fuck is going on? Okay. Looks like we have to do this! The hard way. Open fire! SCP-4585-1 instances open fire on the convoy. Everyone rejoins! We have friends with her uh, here! Wait, General Bruno? Is that you? Yes, don't worry! We are coming! Let's show these bastards what Hamburg can do! SCP-4585-1 instances continue to fire on the convoy. Let's just go around. Agreed. The convoy begins to walk away from the SCP-4585-1 instances. Wait! What the hell are you doing? Get back here! That's not how war works! Convoy rounds a corner, and the SCP-4585-1 instances are no longer in view. End log. Following this recording, Site 50 security personnel successfully captured the uncontained SCP 4585 1 instances. SCP 4585 and all of the SCP 4585 1 instances were successfully transported to their new soundproof cell. Addendum 4585 4 Updates Update as of 1-1-1972, due to the movement of several Keter-class anomalies to Site-50 and SCP-4585's low priority, SCP-4585's research team has been disbanded. Please contact Senior Researcher Serdra or Senior Researcher Beck for details on reassignment. Update As of 6-1-2005, SCP-4585 soundproof cell has been successful in preventing noise complaints. <laughs>